This is Mel Rice Actors Podcast, episode 58, where we focus on relationships, sports, and pop culture from a managed point of view. First of all, we want to thank our listeners, our new listeners, our OGs. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging with the fellas. What up? On today's show, Nicki Minaj is leaving the rap game to raise her family. Some people just can't take being number two. <laughs> Every federal line asks for more money and child support. Bitch ass wigger. <laughs> And we have a dear Irby that addresses a woman who's still in contact with her ex. I'm going to tell y'all about the family trip I took to Houston to watch my son play his first varsity football game. And we have the lovely and hilarious Keith along on the show today. All that and more right now. This is MRA Podcast with Kyle and Kamal. I am Kyle. I am Kamal. We say relationships one listener at a time. We got some feedback, homie. Do we now? Yeah, man. You know, we got 4.5 stars. We got one star. Somebody give us one star, dude. I <laughs> wonder was it that, that one that one lady who was... Oh, I know, huh? She was like, fuck these fuck guys. Yeah. Uh, it says, relation, refreshing relationship radio. Very relative, I would say. Mm -hmm. Awesome show, fellas. I love the balance and realness the show has without everything without everything being shift, sifted through political correctness. Thank you, exclamation mark. That's pretty good, don't you think? Hell yeah. yeah I mean, they like the fact that we we keep it, you know, real. We don't... We're not politically correct. No, no. And we're no. not even trying to be. Yeah. Yeah, we're not even trying to be. But And that's but, the thing about it. I, 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 that's one thing I like about the show. Mm -hmm. And going back to that Dave Chappelle uh, stand-up, yeah. how he might, like, he what he did, I think he saved comedy and just going back to everyone just, like, getting off of the eggshells and yes. just doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he think took so one too. for the team. Like you said, he took one for the team. Yeah, it was like the comedy messiah. Yeah. We come back, man, we're going to save a relationship and we have a very special guest. We have a young lady here, hilarious comedian. I'll introduce him when we get back. This is the MRA Podcast. Hey guys, I want to take this time to ask you to subscribe to The World According to Cheryl. That is Cheryl Underwood's podcast. It's hilarious and I'm on it. Kamal, we have a special guest today, the lovely, the hilarious, uh, give it up all the way from, well, we got to talk about how you pick, you guess where she's from, where her accent is from. Ladies and gentlemen, Keech Long is in the building. Hey, yeah. hey you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you assholes. Kamal heard Keech's, uh, Keech's uh, accent. He said, where's she from? And uh, I said, did I say guess? No, I said, are you from Houston? And I said, I said lower. Yeah, and then Keith was like, "What you mean lower? You need to go east." I said, "No, lower." And he was like, "He said Florida." I said, "Lower than that, further south than that." And then he, I, I said, have to take this shit. And then he said, "You got." I said, "As low as you can get, as deep south as you can get, and you got two guesses." And he said, "Alabama." I said, "You're damn right, you Alabama." <laughs> Birmingham in the building. Two oh five. Two oh five. Ruben Stutter. Oh, okay. Why? A home of a lot of people. Bo Jackson. Uh, Bo Jackson, you can stop there. Yeah. Speaking of that, man, it is Birmingham, Monday. Birmingham, Alabama. The Beeham, baby. Uh, Vincent Bo Jackson is from Birmingham, Alabama. Mm. It is Monday. Our show will be aired this Wednesday. But tonight, the Raiders and Broncos are facing off. Now, we don't have Antonio Brown no more, dog. Mm -hmm. That hurts. Yeah, that hurts you guys. Uh, but you guys have Joe Flacco, who may or may not be ready to play. I mean, you know. I mean, honestly. I mean, I know you like to talk shit, you guys. But how yeah. good do you f really feel that, like you guys are this year? Uh, I think we're probably about nine and seven. And uh, uh, nigga, you you exaggerate. No, I think we're going nine and seven. Two of those seven wins is gonna come from Oakland. Okay, I'm done with this. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we just talk about right now. We're not talking two of them. Seven, <laughs> two of them nine wins. You just need seven more. <laughs> if you can be seven more people, what's up? That that baby loss was that was a good punch. Oh, it was a good punch. You don't know about sports. Girl. Why was he what? Now, come on, I watch. Uh -oh. I watch all the football games to find my future uh -oh. husband. Okay, good. Yeah. Don't, don't 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 go out like him. It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like, yeah. I go out like him. You know when they make the, when they uh, make amazing plays and then mm -hmm. they put up their pitch, I'll be clocking their ass right on <laughs> <laughs> Instagram. I'll be like number fifty seven. Look at her. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna save a relationship and. Uh, it's good to have a woman's point of view. I was doing some reading and I learned this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna say it, then I'm gonna get your take. If it's, it's a bullshit or is it gonna work for the ladies? Okay? okay, this is a segment where we tell the fellas 
how to do some because we do a lot of talking shit about the ladies on this show. So one of our Tanya is it Tanya or Teresa? One of them, Stanford to T. Tanya. Our Tanya oh, said it's Ter- it was know. his sister. Sorry, I think it was Tanya. She said, "Give guys help guys out. You're always shitting on the ladies. Do something to help the guys help because we always tell women what they could do. Her thing was tell men what they can do to make it better. So, uh, fellas, today's save relationship is. All right, guys, now it's time for the lesson of the day. Give affection without the intent of trying to hit that shit. Now, that's hard for me. No pun intended. Because if I my I don't even if I give affection, I'm I'm getting it started. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I might give a hug, but even a hug could turn into fucking. You know what I mean? Any yeah. kind of she sits on my lap. I'm you know. Yeah, I, I, I never understood. Like you see like the public what is it? Public displays of affection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they're not getting it in. Yeah, why you why are you doing it? Like, what are you doing, <laughs> homie? What's with all that hugging? <laughs> yeah. the fucking... Why are you there hugging and kissing in yeah. broad daylight yeah. and like in public and I used to work with this girl who used to try to kiss me on the elevator. Like, what why why would I do that? Yeah. First of all, the, there's a, a camera in here. Why uh-huh. y'all to, were y'all together? No. No. She used to just try to make out an elevator. I'd be like, no. <laughs> No, because we're not about to fuck right now. I can see if it was yeah. elevating a hotel. Some people just like kissing. I, 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 I love, oh my God, that's, that's what give me hot and bother. Well, <laughs> if that's what it takes, I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, just in public, that's you know what I'm saying, at the Denny's, like nothing's jumping off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, we just kissing for the sake of kissing. Now, at the house, maybe. Well, here's what I learned. For men, sex and all right. For men, sex and intimacy go hand in hand. If sex and intimacy is the same thing, but for women, sex and intimacy are two separate things. Do you agree with that, Keetra? I agree wow. completely. Wow. Uh, um, you know, you know what that is? Uh, public displays of affection. That's claiming what? your stake. Mm. That's putting your stamp on your relationship before everybody. Like <laughs> it's kind of like letting people know how. Like, hey, uh, we right now we doing the lovey dovey. And tonight we gonna get it in. Hmm. Y'all like that public advertising? Yeah, we uh, we love it. You see yeah. how I make this nigga love me in front of all of you? Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah. He sometimes I mean, sometimes I mean, I don't gotta have it all the time, but yeah. like most of the time, especially when it's um, you know, when it's initiated by the man, that that yeah. gives us security in the relationship. That makes us feel really good. Yeah. And then you can get to the fucking you. You definitely you gonna get you gonna get it all if you. Set it off in public, and you like, ah, oh, I'm gonna let her know she's special to me. Especially that that shoulder around the arm, that little squeeze. Eesh. It don't necessarily got to be a kiss, cause I'm not. Kamal looks like you you getting tooth surgery right now. You look <laughs> in your face. He's either constipated or he's at the dentist. Uh, what is man. it, dog? He, he is. Well, nah. <laughs> Talk to us. So, so you like holding hands and all that stuff, and yeah. Ew. Yeah, nigga, did you say ill? I did. See, this MRA podcast keeps we keep it real. We keep it one hundred. Uh-huh. That's what the dudes love. You got to be with a stoic bitch. She, <laughs> she, she don't want shit something. from you. Period. She does. She, she don't do- want dick. She don't want nothing. <laughs> That's fucked up. Wait, uh? Uh, you know? hold hands. Well, hold hands. I mean, I'm too old for that to actually be like this is this is what I'm all about. Like. Yeah, I'm too old for to holding hands and stuff like that. It seems like some old, uh, some junior high stuff. Oh, how you? How do you it show affection? Like... <laughs> how do I show affection? Show affection? Right. He still, his wife still yeah. trying to find out. <laughs> come, home, come, home, come home every night. You're a horrible, horrible human. <laughs> After I circle the block a couple times. <laughs> Ooh, I circle the block a couple times. I think I'm ready. Uh, I think I'm ready for some bullshit. Uh, I think I'm ready. And when we come back, when we come back, man, I got to tell y'all I went to H Town, man, at the last minute for my son's first varsity game. This is MRE Podcast. Can I have your attention, please? We are trying to start a movement. You heard that right. We're starting a movement. We're doing something different here at the MRA Podcast. We vibing with y'all. You know what I'm saying, fellas? You know what I'm saying, ladies? It ain't just fellas that listen to the show. Matter of fact, it's the majority of women, but it's all good. I know you know somebody that fits with what we try to do over here. So all we need you to do is send it to them. Tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? That somebody know how we get down here at the MRA show, 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 show. It's really called the podcast, but I, I just wanted to rhyme no and show. All right, guys. Um, man, let me tell you something, man. You know, I got my son. I, t- I talked about on the podcast. Boy moved to Houston, Texas. Yeah. I was sad about that. 
Time to move forward. So my boy's a freshman. He playing. Then when you have a freshman team, so he playing JV, which I'm happy about. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm expecting him to play freshman. He playing JV. Well, at his school, man, he uh, on the VAR, two people got hurt. So he hit me up Monday or Tuesday. He was like, I might start on uh, Friday. I was like, what? I'm sorry? <laughs> what did you say? What are you talking about? You might start for varsity on Friday as a freshman? Hold up. Let me find out. He said, well, let, you know, I'll let you know if I get it. Man, he hit me back that next day. He hit me on Wednesday. He said, Dad, I'm starting on Friday. I'll be right back. <laughs> I said, man, if I find something in the neighborhood of reasonable, I'll, I'll be there. I didn't tell him that. Uh-huh. But I was like, if it's close to reasonable, I'm there. But I knew it might be tricky because I had to be back for my other son's game, my older son's game, Miles Sack versus Bakersfield. So I'm like, this, they, they about to get me, uh-huh. but I got to be there. And I was supposed to be performing at the Antelope Valley Comedy Festival in Antelope Valley. So I was like, I hate to hate to cancel, but you know I missed his sixth grade graduation at the damn Laughing Skull in, in Atlanta yeah. Festival. So I was like, and I do a joke about that on stage, but I was just like, you know what? Fuck that. Went on to uh, Kayak. This is not a commercial, but Kayak, you want to holler at us? Holler at us. Nigga, <laughs> uh, the, the, the average price was 1200 round trip. I was like, oh, Boy, I got one for three fifty. Oh yeah, yeah. even what spirit was, on, uh, was spirit. Nigga, worse than spirit. Sun what country. Was he was on some propeller plane. Yeah, <laughs> <problem. up> and, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> he was on a plane from I was a on nigga Sun out country of a nigga's and, backyard. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Sun country and frontier. Yeah, but I then see. I miss my son. I, you know, I never miss flights. I miss my Sun country flight. I get to the airport. Not realizing I wasn't checked in because I had my what I thought was a boarding pass, but it wasn't a boarding pass. It was some bullshit because I got a third party, right? Mm-hmm. Some European country. It was bullshit. So I missed my damn flight to Vegas and I had a connector. And I was like, I'm not. It felt like a movie. You know how to move, you get obstacles and shit, right? Yeah. I was like, no, dude. No, no, <laughs> no. This is not. I'm not about to lose this. And I had to buy another one. Uh, Houston. Another one. Like I said, dog, I'm there. They, but they shut down. Sun Country shuts down their boarding 45 minutes before. You can't even check in. I didn't know I wasn't check in, it checked in. Ah. So I get there an hour early, right? And I'm wasting time. I, I got time. I'm wasting time. I'm like, because yeah. I only need an hour. Because I ain't bringing shit. You know, on Frontier, you can't bring a goddamn thing. Nigga. It's $50 just to bring a backpack. Mm. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm, I ain't bringing shit. You know what I mean? I'm just going to show up like this and get on the plane to come back. I didn't check nothing. I was like, whatever. So I didn't think it'd take me that long, man. I missed my shit. Had to buy another one to Houston, mm. but I got there, dog. Watched the game, man. Some balled out, man. I was a happy dude, man. Okay. Yeah, it felt good, man. Were you able to get to everything? To get to my son's, I I didn't miss shit because I, I had a long ass layover, so I was good. I'm saying, and and Low Valley joint too. I no, I had to cancel that. Oh, you canceled that? I canceled that. Okay. Canceled what was his numbers? It. It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Uh, like. What was his number? Thank you. That's some football shit. I think he got three tackles. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Three tackles and and you know he didn't give up nothing. Dude. Didn't give up shit. Okay. Yeah. Now at the beginning of the game, this nigga, you know, he was scary. He freshman out there. There was some big boys out there. The first time, this nigga, he juked the nigga on defense. I know now he's not supposed to juke on defense, but he 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 moved out the way and tried to tackle the dude. You know the old move in football when you're scared, you juke and then try to jump on the back. That shit didn't work. Coach was like, get your ass out the goddamn game. <laughs> Had a talking to him. I, I, I got his attention, pointed to the legs, because we, we've been training since he was a kid. Tackle with your leg, dog. Don't tackle with your arms. You got to get in front of the dude and drive. So then the next time he did, I was so proud of him, man, but he got trucked, boy. <laughs> but, he, but he held on tight. <laughs> he held on tight. I was like, look at, the, look at that. But then the third time, Nick tried to get fresh. He tried to lay the boom on somebody and missed. And I was like, yeah, he tried to lay the boom on a nigga. Then he, you know, I was like, come on, dude. But Keetra, I got a question for you, man. Uh, as a, as if you had a baby daddy and he shows up to the game, does that go? Does that get you brownie points? Oh, that's uh, any anybody. Uh, if your relationship doesn't work out with somebody yeah. and you go that extra effort, especially if you stand in different sta- different states, hell mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. I mean, I fuck with it. Okay, good. I mean, we don't. Like, and I, I hate that shit. I absolutely hate when adults can't mm-hmm. just, like, be amicable. That's a good word. And make it 
make it about the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. I don't even got to fucking talk to you. Mm-hmm. Hey, how you doing, Cal? Mm-hmm. Appreciate you being here for little, <laughs> for little Cal, for little baby Cal. That's, yeah, yeah, little that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to smile and let him know that, look, appreciate your father for doing that for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, we, me and my ex wife, we ain't going to even see each other. We'll see each other. We ain't acknowledging. She's going to sit on one side. Mm. I'm going to sit on the other. And he's going to holler at one of us. Is he gonna be? Is it gonna be awkward for him? No, he's he's gonna holler at one of us. If mm-hmm. he's going home with one of us, he's gonna mm-hmm. holler at one of us first. Mm-hmm. Peace us out while the other one's waiting. Yeah, we ain't we ain't gonna interact. Mm-hmm. I mean, she'll every now and again, like she'll say something to me, like, "Hey, he needs this," or if she's got something in her car, yeah, hey, oh, I have to give him his thing. But for the most part, mm-hmm. if if it's a smooth transition, mm-hmm. man, Come on, I gotta be honest, I won't fuck with you either. No, Why not? yeah. <laughs> No, why not? I'm setting my way. Same dude, yeah, exactly. Yeah, He's the same type of dude that's driving around the block just to go in the house. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really, I don't really think he's sane. I'm gonna yeah. be honest. Well, Kamal's that dude. Yeah, man. Just, Angry Kamal is his Twitter. What, is it? Yes. That's what's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking. <laughs> it's Twitter had Angry Kamal. You know Kamal. what? Here's the thing about it. Hmm. I'm a. I, I was, I'm a pushover for the most part. Aww. Happy-go-lucky guy. I go wherever everyone else is doing. But as I've gotten older, I realize I don't like a lot of shit. So I was doing stuff mm-hmm. to appease people. It is. Doing stuff just to be like likable and just you know just to avoid conflict. Go along to get along. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. it's like, ah. Nah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that no more. And we, when we come back, we got to talk about Nicki Minaj. She, she don't want to do that. She's leaving the rap game to have a family. I'm so glad we have a guest in here, Keith Long, that can help us break down the female perspective. This is the MRA Podcast. Yo, Kamal. What's up? I finally finished my album, dog. The one you did in 2013? Yeah, man. <laughs> I know, okay. man. A long time ago, man. But I, you know, I said, you know what? I'm going to finish this album. This thing is coming out. Eventually. Eventually. You know, you, you got to finish. You can't give up. I can dig it. And eventually, it's finally here. Eventually, it's finally arrived, man. And okay. I was listening to it, man. This thing is funny, dude. Okay, it's not dated. No no, no jokes about chingy there, or nothing like that. There is some dated jokes in there. Oh, yeah. like, uh, like, there's a reference to... It was before Michael Sam came out. Because oh. it was like a reference to gay athletes that came out. And I okay. was like, wow, that's dated. Okay. But the, but the juxt of it is, is... Yeah, everything's good. Bruce Jenner still... Yeah, is Caitlin. I, is yeah, Caitlin? He's still, no, he's Bruce. And he's Bruce. <laughs> I don't talk about him, <laughs> but he was Bruce. Yeah, I used to have a Bruce Jenner joke. He was Bruce, <laughs> and this when I recorded this. But no, nah, it's, it's it's ready, man. It's out. Okay. It's funny, man. Check it out. And get it on iTunes right now. It's called Be a Man at All Times. Kamal Nicki Minaj is leaving the rap game to have a family. As a male rights activist, I am happy to hear that, dog. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. The dude, the dude's like, yeah. yeah, you know, rapping is a man's game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get rapping is for the fellas. Get, get off the mic. Get off the mic and go have a baby or two. You I feel me? Dang it! That, like, that's where your real yeah, job is. You should have been trying to be like Eve. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Get in, get out. Yeah. Do your thing. Hop off the bike. Go yeah. make some babies. You know? Do I think that. we can close the segment. Come out yeah. when we come out of like, Keep your life. <laughs> keep your life. I'm gonna say for real. I really am happy that she's doing this to have a family. She's already represented. She's a hip hop hall of famer. All right. If you got the female rap hall of fame, I wish I had this ready uh, before I said it, but I think of people like uh, Queen Latifah. I think of MC light. I think of Nicki Minaj. I think of Cardi B. Now I'm missing somebody. Maybe salt, Missy. And pepper. salt and pepper is a, is a, I would call them a duo. I'm going to say solo. Solo. Oh, artist. uh, Kim. Lil' Kim? Yeah. Lil' Kim is her predecessor, but she yeah. took it further than Kim all the yeah. way. If I had to choose who's doper, her or Kim, I'm going to say Nikki all the way, even uh, though I'm more of a Kim fan because it was my Kim. era. See, the way I look at it is like the predecessor, like Kim opens the doors. Exactly. It's you like know. Dr. J and Michael Jordan. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. like, so, but you need you need Kim. No Kim, no Nikki. Right. Because Nikki really ripped Kim shit off. Yeah. And they had the nerve to disrespect her when she did it. Right. Yeah, so I, I mean, I give you that. But as far as like... The way she hit it out the park with number one albums and features and shit. Nobody's ever done hip hop from a female like Nicki. Nobody. I mean, but like I said, you said she built on the back of other people. Yeah, but basically what Kim what Kim was doing, Nicki saw that as a blueprint mm-hmm. and ran with it. And because of, you know, the era that she's in now, mm-hmm. she was able to take it further. Yeah. You know, um, 
but you know, Kim Kim is a pioneer in that regard. I don't mm-hmm. even know what to call it. I know Jermaine Dupree called it like stripper rap. Yeah, or, but oh yeah, strap. Yeah, yeah he called it. Yeah, he yeah, put, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think like Kim is the. She's that first sexy because you know at first you might I'm thinking about in the nineties you had Boss. Remember AMG sister Boss. Yeah, and, and they was you know in the brat they was doing masculine. Hip-hop. Yeah, Latifah. Latifah. They was all doing. Yeah, I'll knock light, you out. Yeah, they yo yo. All, all rolling, rolling with their man. You know, yo yo Bonnie and Clyde. She yeah. robbing niggas with her dude. Yeah, it was a tough. You had to be tough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, not, what's her name? T. What's the old girl's name that they did the Netflix special on? Uh, she, she, Roxanne Chante. Roxanne Chante. They right. was all like dope, as dope as the dudes. They yeah. Was, but none of them had the sexuality. Yeah, the Little sex Kim appeal, was yeah. the first one, which was Biggie's advice, by the way. Yeah. He and then, like, and then uh, Fox, you know. Fox, they came, came around the same time, I think. Yeah. They, they, they started around the same time, but, you know, Kim was... Was the Luther the, mm-hmm. the Foxy's Freddie Jackson? <laughs> I love you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was like one, yeah, one's a little bit better. Yeah. I listen, man. Uh, I I want to know Keecher as our guest. Keecher Long is here. Uh, Alabama. What's your, what's your uh, Instagram and all that shit? At Keecher Long, K E T R A Long L O N G. All right, at Keecher Long, y'all hit her up. She's hilarious. Follow her. See what she's doing. Uh, Keecher, let me know. You're a woman. Are you in a? Are you in the hip hop? Of course you are. Who's your top five female rappers? I gotta be honest, y'all. Y'all cracked them really. Uh, Definitely Kim, definitely mm-hmm. Fox, definitely mm-hmm. Nikki. Mm-hmm. And then you throw in the brat. Oh my god, I love the brat. The brat is my favorite female rapper of all time. She was the first female rapper that was good as a dude. She reminded me of Snoop. It wasn't even like male, female. She was better than everybody. And then like on on the on the tail end, yeah, I like salt and pepper. I yeah. think they broke down a lot of berries. Oh, uh honorable mention, Megan the Stallion. Who's that? New chick. New chick. Oh, she thick as a motherfucker. Yeah, she's cold. Yeah. Ooh, she thick. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. But she, she wait, wait, spits. What'd you say? She spits. She what? She spits. Oh, I guess. Crazy. I hope she does. <laughs> I hope she does. <laughs> <laughs> she got, she fine as a mother, Super, boy. super honorable mention, Missy Elliott. M- Missy's dope. No. Missy gets kind of shit on sometimes. A, I can't put her in like a single category. Yeah. Because she's so she rap and sang she's so See, good here's the thing about it missy started a lot with this shit what these cats are doing now man missy was doing that back in the late 90s early 2000s with the rapping and the singing mm-hmm. and now that's a staple yeah yeah you know what i'm saying you got to be able to sing yeah you know what i'm saying now what missy was doing it but the other thing about missy which kind of takes away from her shit is missy and timberland are like a duo as far as all missy's dope ass shit it's like, well, I guess, well, that's not fair because that's like right. saying Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Yeah, right. Because yeah, because yeah. Tim would have nothing to do with Super Duper Fly being successful. What? So Tim didn't have nothing <laughs> to do with beat. that. That that wasn't Tim beat. Missy did that. Are you sure? We, I'm, 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 <laughs> oh, a, shit. I'm about seventy-five. Super Duper Fly. Yeah. Doom, sh- da, doom, do. I can't stand the rain. I can't, yeah. All right, let's look at it. Let's that's look at it. Oh, yeah, I go like hard. the. Uh, bye, bye. Da, 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 da. Boy, that, that, uh, Sock it to me. Yeah, sock it to me. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I got to uh, that shit. Produce. The, the album was recorded and produced solely by Timbaland in October 1996. The whole album. The, I'm just reading what it says. That of course. That shit ain't right. Are you crazy? You got to <laughs> know that. You got If you could hear, you could hear Timbaland in I Can't Stand the Rain. You could hear that. Uh-huh. And he's yeah. talking this shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's all. Anyway, it don't matter. I mean, I, I took it back as I said, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg would be nothing when I Dr. Dre. And nobody ever takes it away. So it wouldn't be fair for me to take away Mrs. As- accolade because of um, she had a dope producer. Uh, I got a question. How do you feel about her leaving hip hop for being a mom? What do you, how do you feel about Because you're a comedian. Uh, do you have any kids? No. Do you have a husband? No. Nah. Do you want a kid? Or do you want kids? Because yeah. I got four. Yeah. Do you want? I'm saying. <laughs> I know, because I, I know. Uh, yeah. Okay, but on the real, do Potent you? Pete. Yeah, yeah, I don't mess around. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about that? For real, how do you feel about family and career? Uh, that shit is tough for any woman. I think it, it it's definitely a shift in the paradigm right now because people are um the 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 younger generation. They they pregnant and they performing on stage. Uh, shit, Cardi did it. Uh, Young Miami from the City Girls doing it. A lot of people, a lot of female MCs, mm-hmm. they're they're getting pregnant and performing on stage, and it's not a big deal as it was. You would never yeah. imagine the brat pregnant or you know. Well, I, you yeah, can't yeah, imagine really couldn't, yeah, yeah. yeah, or Latif. You Latif. can't imagine light no. Latif or light, brat just up there because they was too masculine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no, not. 
like Yo Yo up there with a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but Yo Yo got kids. I know. I know, but stage. just basically rapping some hard shit about with her holding her baby. Wait, uh, shit. Uh, Roxanne Shante had had a kid. She so sure did, but not on stage. She wasn't yeah. pregnant and on stage. As a matter of yeah, fact, she when she had a kid, we didn't. She wasn't popping when she had her kid. Yeah, we didn't know. Yeah, I think um, times are changing, so we're not being as forced into like not getting pregnant or having abortions or hiding being in the entertainment industry. And I think it's more of a decision now, more than feel like you're being forced out mm-hmm. if if you do do that. Well, I say this: you can definitely do both now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I think back in the day, uh, even even celebrities, even yeah. celebrities, even rich people, they still kind of ex- expected the woman to stay home, take care of the kid. Now they got nannies. Mm-hmm. I know people who make a fraction of what Nikki makes, and they got three nannies. You know what I'm saying? Constantly, 24-7, somebody mm-hmm. is around to, to, to help take care of the kids. Mm-hmm. So... And maybe Nikki's old fashioned. Maybe she wants to be the one to do it. Yeah, because I I, 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 you, like I said, you could definitely do it. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, honestly, man, Beyonce and Jay Z, them cats are all over the world. They be at Wimbledon and all this stuff. They got a daughter in second grade. <laughs> yeah, you but know they, what I'm saying? They, they they got money. They homeschool their kids, and that daughter, their no, nannies no, travel that, with them. That daughter is in school. I know the school she goes to. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, but when they when they when they travel for long stints of times. Did she get homeschool? Mm. You, I, well, I know it's not healthy to be pulling kids in and out of out of school. But my initial point is, you can do it if you want. If she doesn't want to do that, she wants to go the traditional route yeah. and raise her kids. Um, honestly, not to throw shade. But You're throwing shade. Go ahead yeah, and throw it. I think the decision is convenient. That she's not number one. Yeah, mm. yeah, I agree. You know, so I you got agree. Cardi, That's you got it. Megan. It's like I think she's, she's not, bowing out gracefully, right? Like, oh, it's, instead of like you know, what I'm saying like dropping number one albums, mm-hmm. I'm dropping number four, number five. I don't want to go through the embarrassment because I've been rapping and talking shit about mm-hmm. my status. Mm-hmm. So I'll just I bow out gracefully, and no one's gonna hate on me having kids. No. I do want to have a family. Ice Cube said you stay number one for three years. Drake said I've been number one for three sets of three years. Nikki has been number one for a long time. Mm-hmm. It's hard to stay number one because you're not as hungry. Yeah. They always say boxers, it's hard to, to win a heavyweight championship when you got satin sheets. It's hard to get up and fight and train at five in the morning yeah. when you're getting out of a bed with well, satin sheets. A- another thing is, man, your audience gets older. Mm-hmm. So the, the key audience is that like teenager to like young adult because mm-hmm. that's the people who buy, you know, getting their yeah. parents to buy this shit, download all that stuff, getting the iTunes car. Yeah, how old but is Nikki? Thirty something. Yeah, she's like thirty seven. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When you start getting up there, and your fans are like thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine. Yeah, they they are work. They're not checking for music as much as they they were when they were kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. And then you have to try to get some fifteen year old to think you're hot. You're forty. What fifteen year old thinks a forty year old is cool? Mm. When we come back. Speaking of female entertainers that may or not be raising their own kid, <laughs> <laughs> Britney Spears. Lost more percentage of custody to Kevin Federline. We got to talk about that because, you know, I got to throw a flag on Kevin Federline about something he did to piss me off. It's the MRA Podcast. Hey, come on. We got listeners all over the world now, man. Yep, yep. And uh, I was wondering, man, how, I wonder how the what the people do while they're listening to our show. I know we got a guy in the Navy who's in Spain. He listens. Um, we got a lady that uh, drives a lift. She listens while she's driving her lift and has her customers listen too, which is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Cat in Brooklyn listens while he delivers some fish. Okay. We want to know from other people, man, how do you listen to our show? What are you doing? Hit us up on the social media. I'm at Kyle Irby. I am at Angry Kamal. And let us know what you're doing when you listen to our show. Kamal, what are you what are you doing when you listen to the show? Man, I'm usually chilling, man. I take the train to get my son from school. Oh, you do? Yeah, man. You so I get that. the headphones on and I listen to it front and back. The problem is I'm coming back. Mm-hmm. He wants to talk. Uh, I'm trying to listen. So I yeah. have to, you know, try to act like I'm paying attention to him. I'm really listening to my words of wisdom. That's that's good, man. Yeah. Pretend like you're listening to your son while you're listening to the podcast. That's one way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. usually listen to while I'm cleaning the house, man. Uh, I, I picked... Well, go ahead. Domestic work? Yeah, man. Oh, come on, dude. I wish. <laughs> I wish I didn't have domestic work, but yeah, man. I usually listen to it if I'm washing the dishes or, you know, folding laundry. I listen to, you know, any kind of thing that I don't have to think. Yeah. And I just get to listen. 
But I want to know what what are the people listening? What are the, what are y'all doing? Let us know. All right, we're back. You said you got a flag too, Kamal? On the federal line, Joy? Yeah. I do. All right, well, we'll find out if we have a flag for the same thing. All right. By the way, uh, Keetra and to our new listeners, we throw the flag on people like football. It's a it's a violation. When you do something foul, we throw a flag on you. you yeah, ready? I kind of got that. I'm a little you bit smarter than you think. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure you understood. <laughs> right. It's not that I don't think you're smart, Keetra Long, but... You know, hey, you, viewers, y'all see how you try to dumb it down for us women? Okay. No. <laughs> uh, that's for my audience. That I said for the new people who don't know what we're talking about about throwing the I flag. I think it was more so the Alabama thing, though. I think it might be. Might Shut be. your ass up and talk about <laughs> talk about this goddamn Kevin Federline flag. Right, Kevin Federline got 70% custody for his boys. Uh, but we got to throw... First of all, uh, no, fuck that. I'm going to say we got to throw him a flag on him for asking for more money, man. That's some... Uh, Flag on the play. Killing me on that shit, dog. But before we talk about that, we got to talk about he got 70% of custody. Now, on this show, we we talk about a lot, especially Kamau, men that don't want to pay child support. Uh, one way around it is get custody of your child. Yeah, go fight. Or matter of fact, you don't even have to fight. Yeah. Automatically, it's half. Yeah, you get half for custody. Yeah. And now, if you get full custody, then you ain't got to pay shit. No. Yeah. So, Kevin Federline must be listening to the MRI podcast. Shouts out to <laughs> K-Fed. <laughs> You know, we all over the world, dog. Uh, he went and battled because what happened? There was an altercation with Britney Spears and her daddy. And th- I guess the boys locked themselves in the room and daddy kicked in the door, which I ain't too mad at him. And then he shook the kid, which uh, still don't bother me that much. Mm-hmm. I don't know the situation. But I don't, all I know is if my grandfather said let me in and I had the door locked, that would be a problem. Yeah. And I just know in a black culture, you don't get to lock the door. Yeah, you couldn't close those. <laughs> you, <laughs> let alone lock, lock it. Listen. Matter of fact, I didn't have a lock on my shit. <laughs> yeah, me neither. That's a black people shit. Could listen. you close the door? Could you, could you have a boy in your room when you was a kid? Exactly. The look on her face, y'all. Y'all can't hear it, but her face what? is like, nigga, are you crazy? What a boy in my room. That, exactly. But they, you know, it's different. They different. They be having boys in the room. They lock the door. They close the door. Culturally, yeah. Yeah, culturally. Cult- yeah, yeah. Culturally. I don't, I don't even, I don't even remember doors. <laughs> <laughs> he had a grow up before like, you saw Like, door. I had to think about it when y'all yeah. started talking about it. I was like, he had a door in his room? Yeah, yeah. no, exactly. <laughs> my door, yeah, my door was just open. It just stays open. It stayed nah, open. Yeah. door was a goddamn curtain. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> So grandpa kicked in the door, literally, and then shook the boy. Now, all I'm thinking is if you kick in the door and you shake the kid, you obviously trying to get his attention and be like, what the fuck are you doing, little man? You can't be closing and locking the door. Mm-hmm. And, you know, but I don't know what was happening. I don't know pops is, hasn't hurt. Britney Spears pops hasn't always been stable. So K-Fed got mad, you know, and he increased custody, got a restraining order, blah, blah, blah. So now he not only got more custody, he went back and asked for more money, which <laughs> The reason for the money was lame as shit. Let me read it, man. In court documents, Kevin Federline's legal team noted that when the children were with Spears, they had private chefs, tutors, as well as toys, including ATVs, video games, iPads, and and laptops. It also noted that Spears takes them on multiple vacations a year at luxury resorts. However, Federline, who was receiving about $20,000 a month in child support, couldn't afford to take them on vacations. <laughs> he said he didn't have space in his house for his sons to have sleepovers. <laughs> he now gets thousands more a month. <laughs> Nigga, you crazy. Bitch. Dude, yes, yes, yes. This is ridiculous. I hate when women do it. Nigga, it's worse when men do it. It is awful. <laughs> this man... Able body Come human on, being. Come on, dog. A male human being Come is on, saying bro. basically because my ex wife yes. was extremely talented and yeah. made a shitload of money. And works her ass off to this work, day. Yeah, works her ass off, is taking a toll on her mentally. Uh huh. I need a chunk of that. Yeah. <laughs> to give my kids. Everything that their mom is used to giving them, but I can't provide. Dude. That says a lot about me. It does, man. Not <laughs> that it says does. like, hey man, I would be like, okay, either listen, guys, that was in the past. We ain't doing that shit no more. <laughs> like we ain't got like that. Like your mom is a yeah. superstar. We all know your mom. Or K Fed, uh, Dad, I've been be away for like six weeks. I'm going to Celebrity Big Brother. After that, I'm doing Celebrity Golf. I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I'm. I have to make more money to give y'all what y'all need. 
You saying you saying K Fed could do Big Brother and all that shit? Yeah. Yeah, he could. Do do whatever to make some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, he's got a name. He's got a name. That's the hardest part to get. You know what else? What? My biggest flag. Come on, man. My biggest flag on the play is something that is not even in the um the article. Help us out. He's got six other kids. He's got six kids. <laughs> That's what pissed me off. Come out. He's got is that what six did it for you? kids. Is that what did it for you, Kitchen? He's got that, two with uh, Shar Jackson. He was married to Shar Jackson. Yes, he before. was. The sister from Moesha. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's got like, two more or something like that. Weren't we just talking to about Moesha and the spinoff and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were. To, a, so, to his new wife. Right. To his new wife. What so this wife? Britney money yes, is go- funding everything yeah! else. He won't bring it to pay for his livelihood. Right. Oh, my God. This, and I was God. like, hold up, dude. You. <laughs> This Britney, because yes. she had two kids, is, uh-huh. is is supporting the Federline household. The six kids that you have. Yeah. I wanted this K-Fed's new wife work. Nope. Nope. She was li- li- living off of Britney. Wow. That, Britney is supporting crazy. a gang of people right now. Wow. And if he's got to pay Shar Jackson any child support, yeah. he's getting that shit from Britney. Britney Britney's paying his child support. You got six kids. Two. You got three women. All right, yeah, Shar, two from her, two from Brittany, and two from the new woman, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. All right, two, two, two. And you got your, nigga, that's some bitch ass <laughs> shit. <laughs> what is your problem, nigga? You the bitch. I'm yeah. Glad, I'm, glad you, <sighs> I'm glad you actually see that side of it because a, a lot of people can draw the man-woman parable because uh, yeah, a lot yeah. of women get a lot. Even the parallel, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because women do it to men all the time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Only saying this because she met this nigga as a backup dancer. Yes, she, yes, he she did. He was the Tito to her Michael. Yes. And she bought him. Like, Listen, to your point. Y'all saying he got a name. Mm. His name only holds weight when it's in the same sentence with Britney. Yeah. 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 That's it. Like, like, so I don't know. Maybe he can do like. Oh, yeah. He could definitely do Celebrity Big Brother because a lot of them cats I've never heard of. Have you seen him? It doesn't matter. He He looks Oh, but people look like Britney supporting his drug habit too. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's some that's some bullshit to really. And you know what it speaks volumes about what is his it? his actual love for his children. Why? Because he's equating that to money. He's mm. he's 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 saying, "Ooh, if I must have them seventy percent of the time, I must get more money." When it's like I can't agree with you on that. What do they really need? The, no, what happened was he saw that Britney's money went up. And so his bit, because he watching, you know what I mean? She got the Vegas deal. She got the this and that. So he like, wait a minute, I need more of that too. Which, or the lawyer did it. Somebody said, but yeah. it's probably him. Yeah, he, he probably loves his kids. Yeah, he's, he he's wouldn't ask for 70%. He's taking advantage yes. of the fact that Britney A is probably mentally unstable right now. Yeah, she is. And she's making way more, uh, she's, made, she's making more money. Not way more money. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she's making more money now. And it's like I can get more visitation, I can get more custody, and I can get more money. Exactly, but but do you see what I'm saying? Oh yeah, his reason, his reason is all about you no, know. You're saying, putting, uh, you're, yeah, you're putting a price on your right, right. love wait minute, for your wait children. Minute. Women do that all the time. Are you saying the women don't love their children? No, Oops. because listen, hold on. Come like, on now, let me help tell us. you. Let me tell you what the situation is. Nine times out of ten, come on. These women aren't working. Either is he. Period. Mm-hmm. And like. When they get into the relationship, these are things that they. Brittany had her her millions before she got with him. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, these men, it's like new contract, new pussy. I'm gonna marry you. Mm-hmm. Like, but she was already. Wait, wait, there. what does that mean? New contract, new pussy. I'm gonna marry you. What does that mean? So it's a guy marrying a new. Uh, he gets a new contract, then he gets married, mm-hmm. and the chick never had a job. Yeah, yeah, we're flipping it. Yeah, it's the exact same thing with Kevin Federline. But he had a job. He was a backup dancer. He was a backup dancer, which is a quick. Jo- it doesn't last long. Yeah, he I mean, was her backup dancer on tour. How I mean, do you feel about was, women that so do this? So she was putting money in his pocket anyway. Keetra, how do you feel about women <laughs> that do this? Because women do it all the time. How do you feel about the women that do this? Uh, and keep in mind, you just said you were watching football. Uh, looking at Instagram pictures of linebackers, seeing where you can fit in. How do you feel about women to do this? I don't want to equate this to me personally, but because I've had a couple, <laughs> a couple celebrities. <laughs> yes, you have. You've had a couple celebrities on your resume. You may or may not have one of them right now still on your resume. You have been flown around by Negroes, stayed in luxury hotels. <laughs> Let's talk about you. you. Asked for my opinion. All that fine ain't let that, me, that, let that fine ain't coincidental. Keep okay, let me just say this. Let me just say this though. I've always had my own. Okay. 
I've always had my own. Now, this is what I do believe in any fucking believe? relationship. You should not require more of somebody than you are able to do for yourself. Boom right there. Boom right there, right there. That's one uh, of my rules right there. If if I'm going to let somebody buy me something, it better be something I could have bought myself. Yeah. Don't accept a gift that you wouldn't have bought yourself. Come wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead say that. Yeah, I'll, say accept, that. I'll accept some expense. I will. Yeah. The more than you right. can afford? Yeah. Uh, I, I lost both of y'all on that. Right. Go ahead, then. Right, Back right, to you, I definitely will. Um, But I'm just saying, if a dude is paying my rent, look, I can pay my rent. I got if that. a dude is paying your rent, has a dude ever paid your rent? Look, we, and then, like I said, has a dude ever paid your rent? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> but but I can pay it myself. Mm-hmm. If um, if it, like, look, everything that a guy does for me is the icing on the cake. Look, okay. I've always been able to provide for myself equally. Yeah. So if shit ever shut down or shut down, mm-hmm. and let's say we not married, mm-hmm. or if we've acquired things doing during the marriage together, mm-hmm. I want half of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm not trying to take this nigga to if we if we got kids. Look, pay for that. But mm-hmm. I'm not trying to take this nigga to the cleaners mm-hmm. because I'm going to be successful. Mm-hmm. I have well, no see, doubt in my mind. Well, see, that is that. where you differ from a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, because a lot of people, when they marry somebody who's well off, famous, rich, and all of that stuff, they they get accustomed Yo, to accustomed? being that, that person's spouse. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So instead of trying to get their own, Go and get their own success. A lot of them just basically become socialites. You know what I'm saying? Soccer moms dealing with the uh, the the PTA and and, and and camps and all that stuff, and just loving the fact that I don't have to do anything. Yeah, everything that I want is taken care of, and then when it's over. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Tisk tisk. I'll tell you. Oh, I, I I don't feel. I, my wife kind of explained it to me. For some people, like uh, what's my guy's name? Um, Bezos' wife, mm-hmm. like twenty something years of marriage. Like, well, if, if she's been a homemaker for twenty some years, she's fifty. What the fuck you expect her to go to the? You know, what I'm saying monster dot com and fill out a resume. Yeah, no. no, no, but she shouldn't but, get half of that billions. No, nah. <laughs> she shouldn't but, get half. No. Fuck no. no. She should she should she should get something. She I'm, not get say, something. I'm not saying hey, if, he, okay, if he gave her a billion, that's yeah. more than anybody yeah. ever got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's one of my thirty seven billions or sixty seven billion. <laughs> yeah, that would have been more. So so listen, I was in a situation where I was with uh, somebody with some celebrity fame or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. I got um sick. Mm-hmm. Now before that, before before I got sick, I was pretty much doing for myself, but he was also giving me money. Now, ladies, tip. Um if a dude is doing everything for you, if he's taking care of your overhead, bank your money. Mm. Smart. Bank bank all your money. Spend his, bank yours. <laughs> Production. Come on. I, I promise you. <laughs> I, I promise you. Right? I, mm-hmm. Literally. He was uh, spending, uh, he was banking his, uh, his checks. Yeah. Shaquille his, O'Neal. Yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. Shiny. Yeah. No, I'm, no, I'm saying ba- ba- I'm ba- basically he wasn't spending his uh, NBA checks. Yeah. He was spending his uh, endorsement checks. Yeah, Jay Leno never touched the Tonight Show money over 20 years. Never touched a dime of it. Banked it. Just kept it making his stand-up money. I mean, once I once I once I kind of got hip to the game, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, open up this little account right here. <laughs> just go b- spend his. Especially, bank yours. especially when especially when you you the type of person that you. Look, anytime you date a celebrity, mm-hmm. you got to in the back of your mind know that at some point that shit is going to go left and you're going to have to decide whether to stay or go. Mm. So you either plan your extra and, strategy and the, f- and or the you- money and the money is a big deciding factor if you should stay or go. Well, it's part of the deciding factor. But if you're str- like, I'm a strong minded person. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, so when shit start going haywire, I'm like, okay, this is going to end soon. Mm-hmm. Let me get my exit strategy together. Mm-hmm. Or you got to decide how long you're going to hold on. See a lot of the problem is a lot of people plan not their exit strategy. They plan in their wedding. Mm. Hmm. They're they're trying to attach themselves because I mean it's a good thing. It's a good thing, and if they can help it, they don't want to mess up a good thing. Mm-mm. And so I think a lot of times a lot of shit gets overlooked because it's like, well, I don't want to mess this up. Mm-hmm. Now I'll say this: uh, chances are. The person who doesn't have the money, mm-hmm. they're not going to be the one who messed up the relationship. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Broke ain't, motherfuckers yeah. gonna do their best. Yeah, they ain't gonna mess that up. Let me tell you, I held yeah. off. Yeah, <laughs> the Hell, I, you yeah. hold off. No, it just depends on how much you do. You, you, you decide to take. You you just gotta be smart about it. Cause you gotta be. It depends on the person you are, and if you're strong enough to walk away. When we come back, we gotta talk about somebody strong enough to walk away. Come out. We gotta dear every letter about a woman whose ex leaves <laughs> likes on her page and her man's not happening. As he should be. The look on your job. face, come out. We gotta talk about this. It's the MRA podcast. Are you yelling at your radio right now? You know, what the hell are you saying? You wrong, Kyle. You wrong, Kamal. Yeah. Or, 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 right, right. That's what I'm talking about. Word, yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, then tweet us. Stop what you're doing unless you're driving. Stop what you're doing. Hit us right now. Respond to us. You know, just talk to us right now. Let us know yeah. how you feel. I'm at Kyle Irby. I'm at Angry Kamal. Or you can hit us both at The MRA Podcast and let your voice be heard. Yeah, man. You know, so we'll read it. We might even respond. And you just might hear it on the show. Yeah, man. Be a celebrity for a day. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, so> man. Just <laughs> yeah, stop what you're doing. Hit us up, man. You'll, you'll get a response. Yes, sir. Let's get in this Dear Irby letter. Let us. Dear Irby, I'm on my second marriage. My first marriage was to a guy I was with in high school. He wasn't my high school sweetheart, but I got with him after my first love broke my heart. But he hit me one too many times, which was once, and I was out. <laughs> this new guy is very nice, handsome, and he has a great job, and I love him. <laughs> I'm glad that was on the list. <laughs> but I'll be honest, I still miss that guy who was my first love. Second week in a row, by the way, Kamal. Mm-hmm. We still text each other a few times a year, and every once in a while, he will leave a comment or a like on my Facebook page that makes my husband mad. I do not see why he has me, not my ex. And when he acts insecure, it's such a turnoff. I'm not going to unfriend my ex because he is really not a threat. How can I get my husband to feel more secure so that he's not embarrassing himself? Kamal, you're over there salivating. (laughs) <laughs> you're over there mad as a mug yeah but you gotta wait because we have our guest today Keetra Long at Keetra Long on all social K-E-T-R-A Keetra Long you've read the Dear Irby letter how do you feel darling this bitch <laughs> <laughs> okay I like it there so far we go <laughs> so fucking confused <laughs> like, I, was, I read come out did, did, did we talk about this I was like oh, wait yeah. I'm confused the bitch do you want to be hit or do you want love <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I'm so fucking confused right now. That's look. First of all, I'm I'm glad you the 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 fact that you had the strength to leave after he hit you speaks you like volumes. Mm-hmm. So thankful for that. Uh-huh. I can't Props believe you that. had the wherewithal because what you're saying now that shit don't make sense. Like. If you love him, you should have just stayed in it and got your ass whooped a little bit more. Oh, my God. Keep your long set it, not me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying because yeah. you have you have admittedly said that you have a man that loves you, works. He's a provider. He's he takes nice. He takes care of you. And you still want a pity pat with the nigga that gave you that two piece. No, no, not him. She was the first guy, not him. The first, first guy, I think. Not the two piece. No, guy. wait, no. I thought so. Right. I that's was, what I said. Dude. That's what I thought. Uh, that, wait a that's second. why it was confusing to me. Uh, yeah, man. This new guy's very nice. Blah, blah, blah. We still text each other. I still miss my guy who was my first love. So hold on. She said, in my second marriage, my first marriage with guys was with the high school. He wasn't my high school sweetheart, but I got with him after my first love broke my heart. Oh, okay. So this is the first guy who first, broke her first heart. First guy, yes. This is the not, not the not oh, the two piece. So you guy. thought she was uh, that's where you were so confused. Oh, like, why are you still talking to two piece? Right. Okay. Uh, same same parable though. You like yeah, niggas yeah. that break your heart. Why? Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why though? I think it's very disrespectful. Um, what's her name again? Uh, honey from Hollywood, Florida. Honey. Honey from Hollywood, of course. As my sister, um, I just want to say this. It's kind of disrespectful to fuck with your ex, period, after you have found someone new. Like, mm. you need to be rid of him, period. Like, mm-hmm. if you're really trying to make your relationship work, you should really work on your relationship and not be worried about your ex. He's an ex for a reason. You mm. have to understand that. You have to know that. You have to accept that. And you should not, you should be trying to make your man feel secure, actually, in that relationship. Secure enough. If he was secure enough to make you his woman, then you should make him secure enough to stand up and be your man. Now, you sound great, Keetra, but I'm going to put you on blast just a little bit. Oh, 
oh. and, and and I'm not going to your personal. I'm going to your stage show because in your act, Keetra, you talk about you got a joke that I just love. I, if I was a joke thief, I would have stole this shit. <laughs> you talk about the nigga that catches you cheating. You, can you can you share with it? With, with, or do you do you not want to give your shit up? Oh, I don't I don't care. Shit. He said you caught me catching. You what shouldn't have got caught catching me get caught. <laughs> He was going through my phone or whatever, and he it, caught it, you cheating. Che- he caught uh-huh. me cheating, and you saying, and you're mad. You had to break up with him yeah. because you caught him ca- catching no. you. Yeah, <laughs> you caught him catching you. Yes, you caught yeah. him catching you. Yeah, you okay. should. You shouldn't be catching nobody cheating. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, so that's stupid. My point is, Keitra, from that girl's point of view, right? From the player. Yep, from the player. From the player. How do you feel about this letter? Because you, you just went in on her, but how do you feel about her from a player's point of view? Give her some help as a player. Uh, some help as a player. Let's see here. Uh, you just said she should secure man, her well, man, you blah, gotta, blah, blah. Okay, okay. From a player perspective, you got you got to get up, up a lot of ass. You got to you gotta fuck that dude right. You got to really fuck the dude that you with right. Why? Why? Yeah. Because you have to give him something to submit. You have to get her something to cement y'all relationship and make him forget about all the other shit. Oh, she's cement doing. it. Yeah. Okay. To cool. submit. I thought you were saying submit. No. That's cement, Alabama just cement, coming out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 You got to give him something to submit that relationship and make him forget about all your fuck ups and all your flaws. We got good pussy. Trump everything. So, fellas, for y'all, just remember this to translate it, fellas. Make sure you're doing something that helps secure that relationship. We come back, come out. You're gonna weigh in on this letter. It's the MRA podcast. <laughs> Hey, if you're enjoying the podcast, do us a favor. Tell a friend. That's it. Costs you nothing, helps us out, and gives your friend some entertainment to make that commute a little easier or gives them some company on a workout or while they're cleaning the house so it helps them out, helps everyone out. All right, so please subscribe, leave a positive comment, and share, share, share. I don't like it. Mm. I do not like it. Straight to it. At all. Why not? Well... Two things. First mm. of all, uh, she's she's texting and following or whatever. She's keeping in contact with her first love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. With her first love, mm-hmm. that dude always is always gonna have a special place in her heart. Yeah, and I feel as though if you got that special place, mm-hmm. you always got action. Mm-hmm. You can always get in there. I believe it too. You know what I'm saying, and. And I think Honey is lying to herself saying he's not a threat. Mm-hmm. Her husband knows. Yeah. He knows. Mm-hmm. Because I'm sure there is one of his old chicks that he can easily always slide up in. Always. That's why yeah. when families and relationships break up, you find out they always end up the next one is some dude from the past. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's he, he's got somebody mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. And I'm sure Honey would not like it Mm-mm. if he's saying something on Facebook and she's just, ha! Mm-hmm. That's so funny. You remember when she been? Yeah, who the fuck? Who the, why is this right. fucking? Oh, why her laugh got to be like that? Though? Mm-hmm. I, that's the most annoying thing I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most. <laughs> that's the most annoying thing. And then, like she says, and when he acts insecure, it's such a turn off. Well, you're making them insecure, mm. and so it's like you're you're. I'm probably way off on this. Probably not, but go ahead. <laughs> but it's like. You're trying to be turned off by your your guy. Ooh. You miss your you miss your first love. Yeah. So you're looking for an excuse. Wow. To be turned off by. But why can't she just really be turned off though? I don't know if she has to try to be turned off. She can really just be turned off by his insecurity. Yeah. Because she's causing it. Mm. She's the one causing it. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm. She she can dead this. Mm. Like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? It's not a good look. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just don't like my shit. Mm. Don't like, don't like. I mean, you can have a conversation with this guy, man. My dude be tripping. He don't, you know. I No, I told him ain't nothing going on. But, hey. Mm. Not like, hey. Not- <laughs> Keetra, Keetra, go ahead. Help us out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But it's not like, hey, uh, dude, you need to get over this shit. Yeah. You got me. He it don't. It kind of is. What? It kind of is, though. What you mean? If it, it, uh. I, I mean, you just sparked something in me. I just thought about it. You like she's causing his insecurities. Mm-hmm. Um, Cat Williams had a great line in one of his specials. He said, uh, "Self-esteem mm. is self-esteem of your motherfucking self." <laughs> like <laughs> he should be like as a man. That's what we're I mean, as women. That's what we're drawn to by man security. Mm-hmm. Like your strength. Mm. I get you. Like hold on, hold on. Let her get some more game. Mm-hmm. 
Like, Keep going. like your your strength. That's that's a sexy quality. You know what? She. I think you're more questioning him him as a man mm. than anything. Like you 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 you're not taking him seriously because you mm. wouldn't even be writing this letter if you if you knew you had a man, a strong man, an alpha male, a man to take charge. You wouldn't do that shit. Mm. You wouldn't write the letter, or she she wouldn't. She wouldn't be comp- She wouldn't be um letting uh, the other guy comment on her page if mm. she really right. liked him. Right. I don't think she really liked him. However, his insecurity. Uh, I don't. That's that's not a factor. That's not a factor because she can't make him feel secure. He has to make himself feel mm. secure. Come out before. No, I, I, I mean I think we're we're kind of saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. No, you say he she's causing his well, insecurity. Yeah, I get that. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying I think we splitting hairs. Uh, you're saying he can only cause his insecurity, mm-hmm. but are you saying no? It's not five for what she's doing as far as like it depends five, on what she wants at the end of the day. Well, I'm, if she's trying to keep a happy home, if she's trying to be in this this loving marriage. And go the distance, 50, 60 years is what she's doing now, uh, following and, 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 and texting her her, her first not, love. Not some guy who they decide, you know what, it's better off if we could be friends. You know what I'm saying? We dated for a little bit, but that shit didn't work. But we're great friends. That guy, I don't mind. That guy, I do not mind. But the first love, no, he can't come around. Mm. We come back, I'm away, and I'm getting this. This is the MRI podcast. <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? If you like this show, you want to help us offset some of these costs, man, you feeling the need to donate, then do just that. Go to www.patreon.com and make a donation to The MRA Podcast. That is The MRA Podcast with Kyle and Kamal, and you can find us at Patreon. Or you can catch us in the street and just be like, hey, man, I love y'all. I want to bless you with some cash and put some dollars in our pocket. You can do that. Or you can hit us on Venmo find our names and just you know bless us with dough on venmo or you could pray for us do that too (laughs) but we prefer cash i love what y'all talking about and this is why i'm gonna go in my mind i gotta talk to the dude right quick i know she emailed us and i have a habit of doing this but i gotta talk to the dude her question is how can i get my husband to feel more secure so that he's not embarrassing himself and you can you can help him get more secure by not being sloppy. Have a conversation with the dude. I agree. But as the man, if he's listening, you got to fall back, dogs. Respect this woman's marriage. Don't ever disrespect a woman's marriage, dog. Don't be that nigga, man. If a woman's married, dog, back off. Don't be the side dude. Just back off, and it'll it'll be over soon enough. If you want to get back in that ass or you want to keep that account open, it, I'm not saying you can't communicate with her. But 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 don't but don't don't do anything disrespectful. If you see a picture, and this actually happened to me one time, uh, one of my exes from high school, uh, she she was looking good in the post, and I was like, oh, you know, looking good, something like that. I gave her a, a props, and she hit me up. I was like, nigga, you caused a two week fight. <laughs> I was like, she hit me on the side, and I was like, my bad. I didn't think about it. Right. I was just like, you know, you see an old friend, like, okay, okay. I wasn't like, ooh, I, I want to, you know, I want to spread them cheeks. I was just like, hey, look at <laughs> this. Spread them cheeks. When, when she told you, was she telling you to fall back? Like, she don't, do the, don't, fall back. don't do this shit she again. telling me to fall right. back. And now, that's exactly what I did. And so now it's just, you know, the occasional what's up text, but nothing. We keep it on respectful. As a man, I, I got to give you. you I got to give myself props for handling that well. Like, nigga, don't, don't disrespect. Don't be like, oh, nigga, fuck that nigga. That nigga can't. What you, what? Nah, nigga. Yeah, you know, my bad. Flag on me. Because I should I should have known I wasn't thinking that was whack. So, fellas, don't ever be that dude, man. Don't ever be that dude to nobody, man, because that's not how you want to do it. That's that's dirty macking. Yeah. You don't want a dirty macking. Dirty macking. That's dirty macking, Keech Long. <laughs> I think that's episode two or three. You be talking about dirty macking? Yeah. It's, 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 it's. It's low key. It's not overt. Uh-huh. It's not overt because you're not hating on the. I mean, like overt dirty Mac is hating on the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, man yeah. ain't shit. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? The fucking uh, Hey Lover, uh, yeah. Hey Lover uh, LL song. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely dirty Mac. <laughs> yeah, he dirty Mac the whole thing. Yeah. Yo, all the things your man can't do. It's dirty Mac. Yeah, it's dirty Mac. Yeah. But uh, low key is like <laughs> low key. <laughs> low key is just hanging around, slimy, slimy wild. You learning today, Keith? LL was notorious dirty Mac. Oh yeah, one of my favorite rappers. But come on, L. Don't dirty back. <laughs> dirty back. In closing, in closing, uh, do fall back uh, to the lady to Hollywood, Hollywood, Florida, honey in Hollywood, Florida, which is Fort Lauderdale area. Uh, how can you help him be more secure? 
don't don't do little stupid shit like that. Talk to your ex and be like, yo, man, you know, I'm just going, you know, show some, you know, don't tell him show some respect, but just tell him, you know, I, you know, my husband got upset. Let me, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to have a family. I don't want a, a third divorce, a second divorce. You know what I'm saying? Let me, you know, fall back a little bit. And I'm sure as a man, if he's a, if he's a uh, alpha male, if he's an MRA guy, he'll fall back. So that's my advice. And if you guys have a Dear Irby letter, send us an email at Dear Irby at the MRA podcast.com. That is Dear Irby at the MRA podcast.com. Keetra, thanks for coming on the show. We absolutely enjoyed you. Give it up one more time for Keetra Long. You guys are awesome. You did a good job, my sister. You did a good job. Uh, where can we find you, Keetra Long? Thank y'all for having me. Um, you can find me on uh, Keetra Long on Facebook. That's K E T R A Long L O N G. And also on Instagram, officially Keetra on Twitter. Why are you officially Keetra? There's another Keetra on Twitter? Somebody took Keetra Long. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, somebody want to be me. <laughs> <laughs> or they want some, somebody want you to pay them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they saw it. They saw it was over. Because <laughs> I spend his and bank mine. <laughs> uh, Kamal, where can they find you? Dog? I'm on Twitter at Angry Kamal. And that's all that you need to know. <laughs> I'm at Kyle Irby, K Y L E E R B Y, all social media at the MRA podcast. If you want to hit us both, kyleirby.com is where you can find some of my commercials. Ladies, we love you, fellas. Be a man at all times. Peace. Deuces. MRA.